Hey guys and welcome to this third tutorial on bounds. Now in some questions you're going to be asked to perform some operations with two or maybe even more values which have already been rounded. And a common question you can be asked is well what's the largest or the smallest possible value that you can get when you add, subtract, multiply or divide numbers which have been rounded. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate these maximum and minimum values. Let's start off with this first example. Okay, so supposing we were adding 10 and 20 and these numbers had been rounded to nearest 10. How do we find the maximum and the minimum of the sum of these two values? Well, it makes sense to calculate the maximum and minimum for each individual value first and then calculate the maximum and the minimum of the sum. So we do this by first calculating the upper and lower bound for each of these individual values. Now using the fact that they've both been rounded to the nearest 10, the upper bound for 10 would be 15 and the lower bound would be five. The upper bound for 20 would be 25 and the lower bound would be 15. So how do you get the maximum number when you're adding two numbers? Well, you simply need to add the two largest possible numbers, which in this case is 15 and 25, which are the upper bounds of 10 and 20. Okay, so the maximum number would be 15 plus 25, which is equal to 40. And to get the minimum number, we need to add the smallest values, which is in this case, the lower bounds of 10 and 20, which is five and 15. So the minimum value would be five plus 15, which is equal to 20. So let's look at maximum min values when we subtract rounded values. Okay, so assuming we were asked to find the maximum and minimum of five minus two, where each value was rounded to the nearest one or the nearest unit. We would again need to find the upper and lower bounds of each number, bearing in mind that this has been rounded to the nearest unit. So the upper bound of five would be 5.5 .5 and the lower bound would be 4.5. The upper bound of two would be 2.5 and the lower bound would be 1.5. To calculate the maximum, you need to be a bit careful here because in order to find the maximum when you're subtracting, you need to subtract the smallest number from the largest number. So in this case, we would be doing the upper bound of five, which is 5.5 .5 minus the lower bound of two, which is 1.5. So 5.5 .5 minus 1.5 is equal to four, giving us the maximum value. To find the minimum, we need to do the smallest possible value, which is 4.5, the lower bound of five, minus the largest possible value, which is the upper bound of two. So the minimum would be 4.5 minus 2.5 is equal to two. So let's now look at finding the max and min for rounded values, which have been multiplied. All right. so. Here we have 8.3 times by 3.7. It's been rounded to the nearest decimal place. So using the fact that it's been rounded to nearest decimal place, we need to calculate the bounds of each value first. So the upper bound of 8.3 is 8.35 and the lower bound is 8.25. The upper bound of 3.7 is 3.75 and the lower bound is 3.65. So calculating the max and mins when multiplying is a lot easier than calculating for subtracting because it's a lot more as you think. So to get the highest possible value, you would need to multiply the two largest numbers, which in this case is the upper bound for each of these values. Okay, so the maximum would be 8.35 multiplied by 3.75, which is equal to 31.31 and so on. To calculate the minimum when you're multiplying two numbers, you need to multiply the two smallest values, which in this case are the lower bounds of each number, which gives you 8.25 
times by 3.65, which is equal to 30.11 and so on. So lastly, let's have a look at finding the max and min when you divide numbers which have been rounded. Okay, so here we've got 50 divided by 10 and both numbers have been rounded to the nearest two significant figures. So using the degree of accuracy, which in this case is two significant figures, we need to calculate the upper and lower bounds for each numbers as before. So the upper bound of 50 is 50.5 and the lower bound is 49.5. The upper bound for 10 is 10.5 and the lower bound is 9.5. So how do we find a maximum value when we divide these rounded values? Well, to get a big number when you divide two numbers, you want to be doing a large number divided by a small number. So that's why we use the upper bound divided by the lower bound. So the maximum would be 50.5 divided by 9.5, which is equal to 5.31 and so on. Now to get the minimum possible value, we need to do the smallest possible number divided by the largest possible number, which is 49.5 divided by 10.5 which is equal to 4.71 and so on so in general it's a little bit easier to calculate the max and the min when you're adding or multiplying rounded values you have to be careful when you are subtracting and dividing these rounded values altogether i hope you understand the concept of finding the max and minimum so in the next video tutorial we're going to be taking this idea of max and min forward with some further real world problems. Until then, keep up the good work and see you soon. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.